Welcome to our series of quick start guides that are designed to help you get up and running fast. Let's say your company has been using spreadsheets for passing important information back and forth. The problems are pretty clear. If you need somebody to act on that information or track who does what and when, your processes are going to be very complex. And that can lead to mistakes or information getting out of sync. By turning that information in your spreadsheet into a web application, you can collaborate better while still improving your information management processes. Here's how. Let's say you've got a spreadsheet for managing some kind of list-based information. In this case, it's people along with their date of birth, demographic information, and contact information. These could be job applicants, employees, or members of a club. So the first thing we're going to do is copy this information onto our clipboard. From Long Jump, we go to My Applications to bring up your application list. Next, I'm going to click on Create New Application. I'm going to choose the Create by Import method. I'm going to paste that data directly into the browser. I'll click Next. Now Long Jump takes the data and shows you information as a series of columns or fields. These fields can be renamed or changed to a different type. For example, here's the date of birth and that is really a date type field. We'll look at marital status and we'll treat that as a pick list. So the, when the user selects that, it'll see a drop down. Uh, let's say for gender, we actually want a radio button. So they will they'll pick the radio button information for the right field. And then we're going to choose for their salary, income, currency. And we also have a built-in email address field for email fields. And we have one for phone. So now that information, we've picked out the correct fields that we want for our data. And let's give this a name. We'll call it members. And we'll create the application. So Long Jump has created the application. We're going to open it. And this creates a dashboard view of the application. So I can see a little bit of introductory information, uh, my social feed, and uh, all the records that have been imported as, as, a as a result of creating the application. So I'm going to jump into Members. This is my workspace. This is where I would select uh, the information that I have. And as you can see, I can, there's a list of records now that is based on uh, the information that was brought in from the spreadsheet. You can also see we've added some columns. For example, uh, being able to modif track who modified a specific record or, uh, and when it was modified. So we're tracking this sort of information for you. Uh, I can easily double click, change any values that I want, and hit save. And so that actually updates the information. If I were to refresh it, you can see that I've modified that information. I can also click on the open icon and get a more detailed view of that record. We also track the notes and attachments, uh, activities associated with that record. And so now I can actually see the same information on my mobile device. So here's the member application that I just created. Here's my members data. And there's Ralph. So lots of functionality. If I need to edit this specific record, I can click on edit. And I have the information available to me. And that's how you get your spreadsheet data into Long Jump. There's much more you can do as well, so watch out for some of our other videos for tips.